ለመማር ወደ ትምህርት ተቋም መሄድ ግድ አይደለም National Aviation College ራሳችሁን ከኮሮና ቫይረስ ወረርሽኝ የጠበቃችሁ በቤታችሁ ወይም በተመቻችሁ ቦታ በኢንተርኔት አማካኝነት በኦንላይን ትምህርታችሁ መከታተል ትችላላችሁ ካናዳ ከሚገኘው International Air Transport Association አያታና ከእንግሊዙ Institute of Commercial Management ICM ጋር በመተባበር የሚሰጡ ትምህርቶችን ተከታትላችሁ በስድስት ወር ጊዜ በአለም አቀፍ ደረጃ ተቀባይነት ያለውን የስልጣና ማስረጃ ባለቤት መሆን ይቻላል ልምድ ባላችሁ መምህራን እየተማራችሁ ጥያቄና መልስ የክፍል ስራዎች ፈተና መፈተን ክፍል ውስጥ እንዳላችሁት አይነት በኦንላይን ባላችሁበት ቦታ ከናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ የናሽናል ኤርዌይስ እህት ኩባንያ እንደምን አፈዳችሁ በቀደም quantifiers ነው የተና quantifiers negation of quantifiers uh, quantifiers occurring in combination today we are going to see arguments and validity but for the sake of short revision let me say something on combinations of quantifiers so quantifiers occurring in combination the first one is for some x and for some y for the property p x y as i told you last time this p x y is an open proposition governed by variables x and y so x and y are variables that are jointly occurred in the property p so for the specific case the quantifier here is some x and for second variable we have some y so this can be clearly expressed as for some x and for some y the property given under p will be true for some x and for some y so this time this property or this quantified proposition will be true or will have a true value true if you can able to get at least one x and at least one y for the given property p of course for the given uh, universal set maybe a real number or the set of counting numbers set of natural number or integer or rational number or something else like that this is the first quantifiers occurring in combination second one before we go to the second one for the first one you will say false or the true value of the first quantified proposition is false if you cannot able to get at least one x and at least one y in the given universal set for the quantified proposition and for second one there exist x for all y you see there exist a real number or a natural number or a rational number of course it will depend on the given universal set but that x that individual x or that fixed x will stand will jointly occur with every y okay to satisfy this property or this open proposition under the given universal set you see there exists x which stands for everyone which will occur with everyone to satisfy this property if there is a such prob uh, probability or if you are successful in searching for that x will stand for every y so you will say the true value for this quantified proposition true unless it does otherwise the true value will be false that means if you cannot able to get an individual x which can stand for every y so i mean which can't stand with every y which will be false okay so this is the second um 
kind of category the third one the third one for every x look for every x this is the universal uh, quantifier and sub y for the properties comma y look number two and number three when you see them the quantifiers are already replaced one on the other some first and universal for second in the third one universal comes first and existential comes second this time compatibility doesn't work okay compatibility doesn't work that that means um, the second one and the third are already not similar in, in the first case, as we discussed earlier, for some x or for an individual x, for at least one x, that individual x will stand for every y, we say. It. But in case of the third category, for every x, there is a corresponding y. For every x, for whatever x taken, for whatever x in the universal set taken, there must be a corresponding y that satisfies the given property or the given open proportion. Then after no more open proportion being, but it becomes proposition. And such kind of proportion is called quantified proportion, as we said, in the same case number one, in the case number, in the case numbers. But the meaning is quite a different. So when you go to the fourth one, for all x as well as for all y, uh, we have property x comma y to hold. You will say true, that means you will, I mean number four, combined proposition or combined quantifiers will have truth value true if this property is true for whatever x and y take from the universals for whatever x and for whatever y if the property is satisfied then you will say true you will say false if this property or if this uh, uh, quantifiers occurring in combination in case of number four violates for at least one x and for at least one y okay if there is a contradiction for a specific case for x and y, you will say false. Because it says for every x and for every y. It says for every x and for every y, it works too, it says. But if you come with at least one for one x and for one y that against with the property given under p, then you will say it false. So these are the four major categories of quantifiers occurring in combination that we have seen last time. This much is enough for our revision of this section. Now, today we are going to start today's subtitle, which is, uh, you can refer the shared documents there, arguments and validity. Today, let's start to see arguments and its validity, okay? Its validity. Last time, I already introduced you uh, what is the target of this type. As usual, first, we should have to discuss on uh, the objectives. Of course, I already introduced or I explained the objectives of this subtitle. 1.3 or the third subtitle of this chapter uh, are first you should have to define what argument mean or what a logical deduction by the way argument or logical deduction can be used synonym or alternative so the same number two or the second objective you should have to able to identify the hypothesis as well as the conclusion of a given logical deduction this is the second one. 
unless you can be able to identify the hypothesis or conclusion, you will be a, you will not be able to uh, decide whether the given logical deduction is valid or invalid. So be careful while you are identifying the hypothesis and the conclusion. Usually the hypothesis, as you know, is the if clause part of a conditional statement, and the conclusion is the main part of uh, the conditional statement. And the third objective is after completing this section, you will be able to determine the validity of an argument using a truth table, of course. Not only the truth table, you should have to be able to determine the validity of the given argument using rules of inferences. Rules of inference. Actually, you are very, I hope you are very experienced uh, using a truth table and constructing a truth table. But you may be, uh, I mean, you may not be as such familiar with rules of inferences if you follow. Of course, uh, you are familiar with some of the rules of inferences, but uh, I will revise them later. These are the four objectives of learning arguments and validity. So the final goal of this subtitle is determining the validity of the given argument. After, of course, you have identified the hypothesis and the conclusion and what uh, an argument means. So this is already today's title to discuss. So let's start the logical deduction, okay? The logical deduction. To see what it means, you can see, you can see the definition given on the shared document of uh, this, course PowerPoint. So the logical deduction, you can see there. So the logical deduction or an argument is an assertion that a given set of statements, the statements or set of statements are represented by P1, P2, P3, up to Pn, of course. So called hypothesis. So these P1, P2, P3, Pn, known by a set of statements are known as hypotheses or the so-called premises as usual. So these set of statements or called hypotheses or called premises should yield another statement Q. This statement Q is known as the conclusion. The conclusion. So this assertion that, a, that consists of hypotheses and conclusion or premise and conclusion is known as an argument or logical deduction. So such a logical deduction can be denoted or represented or symbolized by uh, P1, P1, P2, P3, up to Pn, and separated by this symbol and gives us the conclusion Q, okay? The conclusion Q. So this way of writing can also be written as you can see there uh, by up down way of writing P1, P2, P3, then Pn, then separated by the usual symbol, then the conclusion given there is Q. So this way of writing, which consists of hypotheses and conclusion, or premises and conclusion, is known as a logical deduction, okay? So this is what we call it logical deduction. Logical deduction. So a set of a set of statements consists of premises and conclusion is called logical uh, deduction. So now we can go to 
what we call it the second idea of this one, which is the example of logical deduction. Logical deduction. So consider the following example. Let me write down on the whiteboard. After you are already successful in grasping the definition of uh, the argument or logical deduction, let me give you the first example. Uh, if you study hard, if you study hard, then you will pass the exam then you will pass the exam okay this is the first statement after first stop we have another statement you didn't pass the exam okay you didn't pass the exam this is the other statement. Therefore, you didn't study hard. Another statement after full stop. Therefore, you didn't study hard. You didn't study hard. You can see there are three different statements. The first statement is this one which says, if you study hard, then you will pass the exam. One statement, which is represented by P1, okay? Statement one, okay? This is the second statement. It says, you didn't pass the exam. Say it, second statement or P2. And after therefore, there is another statement. It says, you didn't study hard. So this is Q. So this is a set of statements, okay? A set of statements separated by an English word, therefore. So statements that came before therefore are known as hypothesis or premises, the so-called premise. So P1 and P2 before therefore are known as premises. And the statement that came after therefore is Q, which is called conclusion. So this set of statement is known as logical deduction. Logical deduction. Or what we call it an argument. Logical deduction or an argument. So this is a good example of an argument. For the time being, we are not interested to see its validity, OK? We are not going to see its validity. We'll see it later. On. But my attention here is just to define or to give an example for the definitions that we have seen earlier. Hypothesis and conclusion. This symbol, this is a symbol. In an English statement, in the set of statements or in the logical deduction word by word, this symbol is represented by therefore, okay? So this therefore is symbolized by this symbol, this symbol. So this is a good example in English statement. When the argument is clearly given by an English statement, let us go to see the second example, okay? The second example given there, but before we go to the second example, let us represent each, each statement symbolically by P as well as Q. So the first one is uh, let or suppose uh, P1 be represented by you can read it. If you study hard, then you will pass the exam. The first statement has if then type. If then type. As you know, as you are familiar with 
if zen type, it is already in, indicates the logical connector for the implication. So let this implication as two statements, you study hard and you will pass it. So let the first statement be represented by P. So P will be you study hard. You study hard. And the second one, you will pass the exam, okay? Let it's represented by Q. These are, as you know, small letters because they are propositions. So you will pass the exam. Okay? So do we have any statement as a small p and small q? This, you will study hard, then you will pass the exam. Then you didn't pass the exam, it's already negation of uh, Q. So you didn't study hard, again, negation of P. So we don't have an additional proposition here. Now, using these two small letter P and Q, we can construct the, log the logical deduction using mathematical symbols. So the first one is already uh, implication. So we have P, if you study hard P, then you will pass the exam Q. So P implies Q. So P implies Q is already represented by P1. After comma, we have you didn't pass the exam. You didn't pass the exam means the negation of the second statement. So which is negation of Q. Because it says you did not pass the exam. Now there is therefore. Therefore, as I told you earlier, symbolized by this symbol. So you didn't study hard is the negation of the first statement. So it is negation of P. So this is P1. This is P2. Okay. So these two are premises. And negation of P will be Q. That means the conclusion. So we are successful in constructing this given assertion or uh, argument. So this is one argument, okay? One argument. Is it valid or invalid? Our, our target is not that one. Of course, we'll see it later. Okay, this is the first example. Second, the second example. The second example here, the second example is, it is not sunny this afternoon. It is not sunny this afternoon. Of course, we are in the morning session, but this is an example. So it is not sunny this afternoon. OK. And it is colder than yesterday. And it is colder than yesterday. This is actually the first premise. It is not sunny this afternoon, and it is colder than yesterday. If we go swimming, if we go swimming, If we go swimming, then it is sunny. If we go swimming, then it is sunny. Second premise. This is the second premise. If we do not go swimming, if we do not go swimming, If we do not go swimming, then we will take a canoe trip. Then we will take a canoe trip. We will take a canoe trip. This is the other statement. When we go to the last statement, if we take a canoe trip, if we take a canoe trip, then we will be home by sunset. Then 
we will be home by sunset. You can see them. I will write the statement after therefore, okay? The statement after therefore. So you can imagine how many number of uh, premises or hypotheses that we are, uh, that we have. You can read. The first one is, it is not sunny this afternoon and it is colder than yesterday. This is pure, pure or statement one. Of course, it consists how many propositions? Two propositions. If we let to see uh, it is sunny this afternoon, so we have negation of P because it, it says it is not sunny this afternoon and it says, so there is conjunction there. This refers conjunction, okay? This refers conjunction, and then the second proposition is it is colder than yesterday. It is colder than yesterday. So if we let this to be Q, so we have negation of P and Q. This is one premise, one premise. When we go to the second statement, if we go swimming, now implication because it begins with the word if so if we go swimming this will be r so r implies it is sunny so this will be s this will be s so we have r implies s r implies s so we have first negation of p in, uh, and negation of P and uh, Q. First statement or P1, okay, capital P, then one. The second one is if we go swimming, R implies S. This is capital P2, capital P2. First premise, second premise, and so on. Okay, let's go to third one. If we do not go swimming, if we do not go swimming, that means negation of R implies, why I'm saying implies? Because it begins with the if. So if we do not go swimming, then we will take a country. So still now, or till now, we didn't discuss about taking a country. So this will be T. So uh, we have, we will take a canon trip, then we have T here. So we have P, we have Q, we have R, we have S, and we have T, of course, we have T. Then finally, or uh, before that, we have capital P3. This will be the third premise. If we take a canon trip, if we take a canon trip, then we will be home by sunset. We will be home by sunset. Now you can guess what we're going to write as the last premise, as the last premise. You can guess or you can just have your own um, premise before I'm going to uh, give you the last premise and before we are going to see the conclusion of it, the conclusion. Just try it by yourself. Okay, let me write the conclusion. We will be home by sunset. Therefore, therefore, we will be home by sunset. By sunset, okay? We'll be home by sunset. So P refers the statement it is sunny this afternoon. So let me write it. P, it is a small p -O. It is sunny this afternoon. Yeah, it is sunny this afternoon. Sunny this 
마스터는 오케이 okay. Q Q will be it is colder than yesterday it is colder than yesterday colder than yesterday this will be represented by Q okay and we go swimming the next proposition is we go swimming we go swimming and as we take a kind of trip okay we take a kind of trip we take a kind of trip we take a kind of a kind of trip and finally t we will be home by sunset we will be home by sunset okay let us see them whether we correctly uh, construct the premises earlier or not it says it is not sunny this afternoon so negation of p here is negation of p this is negation of p and okay we have conjunction connector here it is colder than yesterday q so the first premise is already correct negation of p and q the next one is after this full stop after this full stop we have if we go swimming that means r then it is sunny this afternoon that means R implies not S. This is not S, of course, because it is not sunny. It is sunny this afternoon is already represented by P. So R implies P. So we have corrected here, R implies P, because it is sunny this afternoon is already represented by P. Okay, then, then if we do not go swimming, if we do not go swimming with negation of R, if we do not go swimming, then we will take a kind of trip. We will take a kind of trip means uh, S. This is already S. This will take S. Okay. Then, if we do not go swimming, then we will take a kind of trip. We'll take the third premise. If we take a kind of trip, if we take a kind of trip means s the for the previous s then we will be home by sunset that means t finally therefore this is conclusion therefore we will be home by sunset which means t look this one is a little bit very very long logical deduction. How many premises we have? Four. This one is the fourth premise. This one is conclusion, okay? Usually the premises are represented by, as you can see, capital letters. P1, P2, P3, P4. From the definition, we said there may be any number of premises, any number of premises formed by set of Propositions, these are already propositions. So after therefore, there is a conclusion here. For us, for this specific example, we have uh, T as a conclusion. So is it valid or invalid? We'll see it. So Bahala Yenit Yakeslamanao about Tatu Yenin construct Yaragnon logical deduction, the master of Shatuel. Bahala Abren Slamanao Mike. Logical deduction validity and error. Logical deduction is not hidden in the sense of the error. So the first one is negation of P and Q. The second one is the second premise is R implies P. The third one is negation of R implies S. And then the fourth 
premise is S implies T. Finally, we have conclusion T. Is it valid or invalid? We'll see it later. Okay. These are the two examples concerning logical deduction. Okay. Logical deduction. Then we will see the next one, which is uh, validity, definition of validity, okay? Definition of validity. So let me give you the definition of validity here. An argument for, because already we have, we have discussed the, argu uh, the argument form or uh, logical deduction form, which is P1, P2, P3, separated by comma, uh, up to PA, separated by uh, the symbol of Z4, and then Q is, this is an argument form, this argument form is said to be valid if the conclusion Q is true. Very easy. And you are, I hope you are very familiar with this definition. If the conclusion part Q is true, using either two statement or rules of inference, then the argument given in the given question is valid. Valid. Otherwise, otherwise it will be invalid. What does that mean? If the conclusion Q is false, of course, having all the premises true, all the premises are already um, true without being false, without being false, all the premises must be true. P1 must be true. P2 must be true. P3 must be true. And it goes up to PA. So each of the premises should be true. Should be true. But the conclusion has two chances. Maybe true or false. Or mixed, okay? What does mixed mean? While we are constructing the truth value, the conclusion Q in some row may be true and in some row may be false. This is mixed uh, truth value. Actually, a given proposition may not have true and false at the same time as we said last time. But while we are doing uh, the validity of an argument, validity of an argument, if it is valid in each row, in each row, the conclusion Q must be true. Don't forget. In each row, the conclusion Q must be true. But if it is invalid, or if it is fallacy, if it is fallacy or invalid, in case of true statement, Q may have a pattern or false. That means in each row, the true value of Q will be false. In case of invalid or in fallacy, in case of invalid or fallacy case, uh, it will have a pattern false, 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 false for the conclusion Q. Sometimes it may be mixed. If it is mixed, meaning that it is already invalid or false. Invalid or false. I will show you this in the following example. By one way or the other, uh, to summarize the definition of validity, an argument form is said to be valid if Q is true whenever the premise are true. Okay? If Q is true whenever the premise are true. Again, an argument form in the given symbol P1, P2, P3, up to Pn separated by the symbol of Z4 and Z Q is said to be invalid if Q is if Q is false or mixed whenever all the premises are again true. This is the definition of validity. So let us see the previous examples. The first example is this one. This one. The second example is this one. So let us uh, determine their validity. Or let us show whether these two uh, examples 
have valid or invalid validity so when we talk about validity it may be valid or invalid okay so when you are asked to uh, show the validity of a given assertion or the, the validity of uh, the a given argument it may be valid or invalid it may be valid or invalid so let us use this one using uh, what we call it true statement true statement so let me show you actually you are very familiar by constructing the true statement for this one this is example number one example and determine you can take this example determine the validity determine the validity of the following arguments okay in short effect the following arguments the following arguments number one this is the first example p implies q then negation of q then conclusion negation of p okay this is the first example so let us construct true step how many number of propositions are already participating in this argument only two what and what p and q no more r no more s no more t like that of the, the upcoming example for this specific example we have only two proportions so how many number of rows that we are going to construct only four for two proportions we will have four rows one two three four okay so first column for p second column for q third column for negation of p and third uh, fourth column for negation of q and we have p implies q for the fifth column okay let's start each uh combinations as we discussed last time while we were uh, constructing true step p true to true false false true false false these are the four options in case of uh, true step for two propositions namely p and q what about negation of p it has filled this column negation of p means negation of these four options false false and true true their negations when we go, go to the, the fourth column negation of q it is false it is true negation of true is false negation of false is true so false true type when we go to the fifth column p implies true true implies true is true then false because true implies false as you know it's false which is the only false true value in case of implication false true is true false false is true okay we have completed the first task or the first step the first step is uh, constructing the truth table after you are successful in constructing the truth table now please identify which columns are the premises yes i'm not enough i am the dims at this one but if you get out of me different Manatum Dimsa Sum. Yes, I'm not sure. Lem Sari, Miss Ganaski, Nigel. Nigel. Ah, Samad, Samad. But I'm not. So the first step is constructing the true step. Okay. The second step is, as I told you earlier, which columns among the, the columns that are given under the constructed true step are. The premises. How many premises do we have? Two premises. Premise Melatu, because this symbol the Piti and This is the first premise, which is namely represented by P1. So this is premise one, okay? Premise one. P1. 
one stands for uh, premise one or hypothesis one, you can say. This is the second premise, which is premise two. So premise two is negation of Q. This is premise two. Premise two. What about this one? This one is a conclusion because it is found after the symbol. After the symbol. Therefore, Belen Kagelles now Bohara Yalo conclusion. A so conclusion, a so conclusion, the true stable lie, the true stable lie, yet he now call him by easy chill. First time lie on chill, last time lie on chill, that's a middle lie on chill. So, in which column uh, the conclusion already lie? In which column? In the third column. So, this will get a star. The star is the conclusion, okay? Now, from the definition, from the definition, we have discussed that the premises are always true. Always true. In case of, I mean, in case of logical deduction, to determine whether that logical deduction has truth value true and false, that means whether the validity is valid or invalid, you should have to begin with the fact that the premises are true. Now, in which row, in which row of these two columns have true value two? Only the last row, both the premise P1 and P2, the first premise and the second premise on these two columns have truth value true only on the last row. Let me make a star on the last row. I already omit the first one because the first column, I mean the first premise has true and the second premise has false. I already reject the second again. Why? Because the first has false and the second has true. I reject the third one because the first premise has truth value two and the second uh, premise has false. Only on these two columns. Why I'm not focusing on the first, the second, and the third columns? Because they are not considered as premise. So, premise you want column which lie true true and the button which are written select another. So, our selected row will be the fourth one. Unfortunately, it's the fourth one. Okay. This doesn't mean that the, the selected row will be the last one. You hear it? Suddenly, well, unfortunately, I didn't know you could lay the chair of our mother, Tamara to Rono, Madame Natchinig. I didn't. And then they made a general roll of Richard, who let him through to run the path. And then they will let him know Richard, and it goes like that. For this specific case, unfortunately, we have got uh, the fourth row will contain the premises too. And do true or and do false, you know, for like I was. Because it will violate the definition of validity that we discussed earlier. Okay, now the third step, step. After you are successful in constructing the true statement, you should have to select one row or two rows or three rows or more than that row. By the way, premise or two through your own batch of road and the picture. And the challenge. Select our watch of So now we are uh, we have selected the fourth row, which will be the second step. What will be the next step? The next step is on the selected row, you should have to focus the conclusion column. The conclusion column on the selected row has to value two. So you should have to circle it. You should have to circle it. The conclusion column on the selected row has truth value two. So let's see true the magnet action. Therefore, uh, let me write um, the statements that I told, I told you verbally. 
only the fourth row, only the fourth row consists of consists of the premises which consists only the fourth row that consists of P1 and P2, meaning that premise one and premise two uh, has truth value two, has truth value two, okay? And, and the fourth row, or the conclusion column, the conclusion, the conclusion column, in the fourth row, in the fourth row, has truth value two, truth value two. Therefore, the argument is valid. Therefore, the argument is valid. We have got a valid argument, okay? When we say, or when we will say the, value, the argument is invalid, the argument will be invalid if the conclusion column in the fourth row has a truth value false. Ziga false, I think, and you know, Ziga valid and no. Invalid number, no. Invalid number. Katayatu. Uh, Ziga invalid number. Therefore, the argument is invalid. Now, put. Now, take me to your trials. Cut out this up. Put. Get to your trials. Skill. The mass. I get the moker. I only tell you. I read. Skill. Dark mode. 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 Ah, okay, this is my uh, last conclusion. The argument is valid. The argument is valid. So, truth table to that man, truth table to that man, uh, argument valid. Okay, now we can go to the next one. He had this color to he had in the truth table, my teacher. Unfortunately, I'm a tiger bono. Uh, white board to Lenante is a gajo here. Chap. In your demo bet, I'm busy. Roll Napoleon of Trinitanka. Scan the Nasa Yaks. Let me show you. P Q R S T. How many number of proportions are already here? Five P Q R S T. The Masa Yetia and the Avon, the Tachitus, Katayatu. Camera will touch your other P Q R S T. A missed proposition. For five propositions, we will construct to the power of five. That means 32 number of rows. Aoni, Salasaulet, a board man, Salasaulet, row to your snag there, man, Taicha. But I'm Chamanaka, and the man, I'm Chat. So, what is the option to do? or to determine the validity of the second example, which is called rules of inference. So as I told, so let's end it like a misarrow, but through stable sign using rules of inference, no matter. But this doesn't mean that, this doesn't mean that a given logical deduction will be done only by either two stable or by using rules of inference. Malet had a question. Bowlet to my sermon, Yandandu Yaka Bowlet to his sermon. But it will access a wide, a wide, I mean, a wide, uh, wide hole. So I'm going to be able to do that in the document. Minsara, the rule of inference is your own. And the rule of inference is in Ganjam Rodom, Sunalas Tamakwatum, or is that? 
Okay? Let me let me teach you the rules of inferences which will be very crucial uh, to do the validity or to determine the validity of a such uh, logical deductions. So below we list certain valid deductions called rules of inference. Okay. Hina la tapau ziga la maskama imokran. Rules of inference. Rules of inference. So, rules of inference. Inference. Okay? Rules of inference. Actually, rules of inference are also called uh, rule, re reasoning or rules of reason or simply reasoning method. You can say it reasoning method. So there are actually uh, 10 kinds of rules, 10 kinds of rules. Ski rule of tune is a share bar of what document like yet I have to know, Tadu, Dagmawi, Omar, Nisu, Skinnegaru. Share bar of what you like, Tayatuan, Waste and Degan and Share Ladder. Tadu Skinnegaru. Any yet Okay, The first one is the first rule is modest points, and I will explain how it works. How it works. Look, this is the rule. P is true. P is true. And P implies Q. Sorry. P implies Q is again true. So what do you expect? Uh, Q. By the way, I told you that last summer too. Below where I'm going to list certain valid deductions called rules of inference. Valid deductions. So this slash or line, I can say line segment, will symbolize the whatever since the dinner preserve. So we'll replace this symbol, okay? We'll replace this symbol. So while we are listing or while we are expressing uh, the argument horizontally, we are going to use this symbol. But if we are interested to express the logical deduction upside down or what we call it top down uh, form, we will no further use this symbol, rather this line segment symbol. So this line segment separates the premises and the conclusion. So this is known as argument form. So this argument or logical deduction or simply deduction is valid deduction. Tasatun, valid deduction So uh, this is the first premise. It is true. How do I know? How do I know whether this is true or false? Because in case of logical deduction or in case of argument, the premises are always true. Okay? Always, false blood from the Satan to you. False blood from the Satan. Yet Satan to premise now from the Satan, in the end of the world, it is already, um, it is true, or it must be true. P implies Q is another premise. The second premise, it must be true. So let's say, your premise for to good day, true, no more, good day, no more. So let's see whether Mamara Kamele Buffett killed true. The conclusion of false knowledge that never true. 
Why? Because from the very beginning, I told you that the argument or the deduction is valid. Valid katabaladabu conclusion kulito. Because I told you from the definition that I gave you earlier. So this is a valid deduction. So let me explain it. P is true. Why? Because it is premise. P plus two is true. Why? Because it is again premise. This is uh, implication. For implication, for implication, the implication is true, and the component of the first component or the one which is found at the left hand side of the implication is again true, again true, given to be true. I mean, given to be true. And if the implication is true, therefore the second or the second component or the component which is found at the right hand side of the implication uh, operator must be true. Therefore, it is. Uh, we, I'm verifying that this is a valid deduction. A valid deduction. False mahuna ichile. Lemon kalatu. Ziga false mahuna kona ihe premise false yona. Premise demu meche and yon meche false mahuna ichile. So P2 no, because already it is premise. It is given to be uh, as a premise. So if it is given as a premise, it must be true. And this is also the implication truth value is again true. Why? Because again, it is given as a premise. So an implication, an implication will be true. Having the first component true, the chance of the second component must be true. So really, this one is a valid, and it is called modest point. And we are going to use this as a rule by saying modest point. While we are determining the validity of a given assertion, in the upcoming exercises and examples or tests as well as exams without expressing uh, without using any other term if there is a such kind in the given uh, argument so you should have to say this is valid or true by modest exponents rule should have to say like this this is the first one the second one the second one is modest tolerance. Modest tolerance. Modest tolerance. Let me be fast. Modest tolerance. I mean, the modest tolerance. Now, negation of P is given as a premise. Second, P implies Q. P implies Q is already the second premise. Here is the conclusion. The conclusion. This one is true, meaning that P is false. Okay. Now, in the premise, you can make P be one or now definition again, you got to that. And P false, you can make the premise false. You can make the P again, you can make the negation of P. So, negation of false, as you know, it is true. Therefore, it doesn't uh, violate the rule of the definition of uh, validity, I mean, uh, valid arguments. And the second one, as we discussed earlier, it is again the second premise, which is true. Look, negation of P is true means P is false. If P is false, to make this implication true, this one, I mean, uh, negation of P, this is not P, sorry, this is Q, negation of Q. So negation of Q is already given to be true. So Q is false. So Q is false. So if this one, the implication is true, and Q is false, P never be true. P true monage. Level character, true implies false, true I settlement. Level P implies true major true donor as come with the general. Why? Because it is premise. So this premise, in order, in order this premise to be true, or in order to make this one true, and having that Q is false. Which is found from the first premise, this P must be false. Why false implies false will be true. To make this one true, having a Q false, so P never be true. P true kawana not true implies false, many are false. So as we get to your premise level and now true in the world, premise kawana get to true monster, true no tablet set them. 
so p false mona p false ka hone p false ka hone negation of p will be true ya name liwana valid liwana it will be valid it will be valid uh, if if it was given that uh, like this p tadergo tasatto le yono p agenye no false le hone valid sayo min yon neber malet invalid neger gen ezi ga mesatacho bemulu valid argument wos le honu invalid le neberu valid indi hon p le neberu min tetemeren negation that is the second rule of inference ahunem ihenen alatafaw bawala selemittakemo letenya gize kem maqatalebachu let me take you to the third rule of inference the third one which is known as rule of syllogism rule of syllogism or rule or principle principle of syllogism syllogism let us discuss what this rule is p implies q q implies r r implies i mean uh, p implies r as a conclusion look This one is another crucial uh, rule. Look, this is premise one. This is P one, meaning that premise one, premise or first premise, I can say, first premise. This is P two, meaning that second premise. So this one is a conclusion. Q conclusion. We have been told that this logical deduction this is logical deduction okay logical this logical deduction as we were told that valid logical deduction okay valid valid so in this thing they let adamo and they allow that in this thing they were p implies q is true because it is valid q implies r is true how do i know because it is again premise it is true because it is valid this is again true because it is premise premise ka wala true mo hon minim anetalaka now look the conclusion of the first conditional statement and the hypothesis of the second conclusion and statement must be true and they are true my i mean uh, uh, they are the same true sayon malet yallebachu they are the same the conclusion of the first implication and the hypothesis of the second implication must be the same must have the same proposition kew ka wona kew no mo yallebachu ziga negation of s bilo katarasa ziga negation of s bilo majemrale so if this is q this must be q if this is r this must be r if this is negation of p this must be negation of p ziga wona ziga yallut minim lihonu chal ayi merekatal says ayi merekatal p implies q kal q implies r malatal awun r le malatal chiru gedet al ዚጋ ሁለቱ ይመሳሰሉ ለእንጂ አር ሳይሆን ቀጥቶ ኤስ ቢሆን ግዴ ግዴ እዚም ጋር ፒ ብሎ ከመጀመር ይልቅ ቲ ብሎ ቢጀምር ግዴ ግዴ ስለዚህ ፒ ፕላስ ኪው ኪው ፕላስ ኦርደር ኦፍ ሌተርስ ለመጠበቅ ነው ሶ ኢፍ ዘ ፕሪሚሲስ አር ኢን ሰች ኦርደር ኦር ኢን ሰች ፎርም so the conclusion must be zig yetsafo implies mecharasha yetsafo let me repeat it again let me repeat it again if two conditional statements are given as a premise of such order that means the conclusion of the first conditional statement and the hypothesis of the second conditional statement are uh, the same 
the same. Then the conclusion will be another conditional statement with the premise with that of the same premise with that of the first conditional statement and conclusion with the conclusion of the second conditional statement. So I want Q implies R manifest true. Let's see, Pibro, Gemma, Aris, let's see, Q will be channel, Ziga, that after, my Sahoma. So I want to take you to the Ziga. Principle of syllogism, some are children take you to the online like a lot of tomorrow, online with that to Tundi. S implies T will be considered as, considered as um, first premise. T implies uh, N will be the second considered premise. In order to apply rule of syllogism, what will be the conclusion of this form? So there's a man in the yik, man in the yik, and I'm sure it's too much. And I'm sorry, this is never, when never, when you know, the other two slam you, but I'll slam my life to the other young man. This is how I live, when I live, the demon line line of birth, when never, this is how I live, this is how I live, this is how I live. Conclusion of the moon and the business. As such, the image of premise A implies T. No, who let any of premise T implies a minimum. So, what will be the form of this conditional valid statement? Valid no moon and the business. Yeah, was you got S implies M. Exactly. S implies M. I'm saying another one. To get clear. To get clear. So T no omit how to get to another so S implies M. But I'm not sure is right. So this is in this this kind of matter you can use syllogism for determining the validity of a given assertion. Okay, a given assertion. Again, has it got the test? Has it got the test? Let me tell you something. What is that? Um, Contrapositive. Andy, Master Shachuni Yazuna, please prepare your own notebook and write the following uh, rule of equivalence. Rule of equivalence. Last time, last time I gave you uh, P implies Q is equivalent to negation of P or Q. If you remember, I told you this one. And please write the following note or the following uh, rule of equivalency at the back of your notebook. And P by implies Q. This is by implication. Equivalently means that if you remember, P implies Q and Q implies P. Okay. P implies Q and Q implies P synonymously can be written with that of this one, or it is equivalent with that of P by plus. Now I'm going to write the third one. P implies Q equivalently means that negation of Q implies negation of P. This is called contrapositive. 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 P implies Q is equivalently means that negation of Q implies negation of P. Now, why I am informing the third equivalency rule by this time? Sometimes, sometimes, look, sometimes, for example, uh, it may be given like this. A implies B as a given premise. And here it is, here it is as S. S implies negation of B. And then can you give me a conclusion, a valid, a valid conclusion for this assertion? Use number three, okay? Number three. Use number three 
or having as a clue numbers three as a clue for this one for this one because this conditional statement synonymly can be written according to number three you can rearrange and please tell me please tell me what must be written here Fayo Muhammad Fayo Muhammad are you listening to me are you yes 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 I'm listening okay thank you so please get the third the third rule of equivalency as a clue or as a hint and try to reshuffle or try, try to rearrange this one first then please tell me the conclusion using rule of syllogism using rule of syllogism think over it and try to give me the conclusion according to the rule of syllogism that began Okay, I tell you. Ah, uh, I have connection now. Jibang Ah, can you Say something, Dagmawi, if you are on the online. Tutoyi lila wota yedo hana masale. Tutoyi lila wota yedo hana Dagmawi, tutoyi lila wota yedo hana online line dana. So let's see, yerasin attendance was done. Participate mara ganda pa. Ana akom lila nagar. Gino online line wona chou lila lati. Dagmawi awni jye baal. Shi, nisou kandim da ikki shalo, tadu. Are you speaking with Adam? Yeah. Okay. Uh, if A implies B and as one premise, and AC implies negation of B as another premise, according to syllogism, if this is clearly seen on your uh, screen board, what must be the conclusion of this rule of syllogism? Using this as a clue. It takes a lot Yes, we touch on this topic. Catch up, show. Yes, you. Yes, you can touch it. Yes, you can touch it. According to rule of equivalency, yes, you can touch it. Contrapositive. When you say it, it is known as contrapositive. Contrapositive means what? Means what? P plus two over one. The negation means what? Negation is what? The rule of equivalency. Because the negation of negation can't be all. Come back to it. So, in the back machine, get a bit old now, because I want to let to me, Miss Hassan, the back to because I'm conclusion, you know, uh, hypothesis of the first implies conclusion of the second. We ask him to hear conclusion, but yes, that's a piece of the no. Thank you. I don't think I got a place. Drag a bush. Ah, and the touch of my friend to the station, Lelila, Lenin's who can study the feet. A implies B, but the best in us can do it. A implies B. S implies negation of B. The contrapositive form sets up how negation of negation B. B one. But now the negation is capital letter now. You imagine how negation is capital. Z implies negation of S one. Sorry, negation of S. Now. Look at the conclusion of the first premise and the hypothesis of the second premise. They are all the same. So let's say big marag pichano can't do it. I want to tell you something. Bet I'm bet I'm charging. Ah, a a implies of negation is a mystery. Yeah, a implies negation of s. Yes, sir. So let's say here we are part. Let's see now here the new rule. Yeah, there is a method change in the one. Of course. High school life concept we are not famous like so so. How come we better look at that? This is rule of syllogism. That was what we are looking at. Rule. Nothing the master of science will be asked to mark out in the game now. So here in the example, as only please take this one as an example. So A implies B, A implies negation of B. This is equivalently means that 
negation of negation B means uh, B implies negation of S. That, that's why she says A implies negation of S as a conclusion having uh, or based on this rule. So in another form. Now let us go to the next room. The next rule. Okay. The next rule is rule of adjection. Rule of adjection. Rule of adjection, by the way, it's uh, very clear when we compare with that of rule of syllogism. Very easy. It's a fourth rule. Rule or principle of adjection. Adjection. Let me explain it as we did earlier. P is true as a premise. Q is true as a premise. Then P and Q must be true. Minimal rights for the goal. P true kaora, Q true kaora, you will have to conjunction true you want. False mu and petmin middle. Level valid so. So this is premise, this is premise. If both premise are given to be true, so uh, the relation using conjunction operator between the two uh, components must be true. Uh, this is the next rule, and this is rule of adjunction A part, B part. We have rule of adjunction. Here it is. If Q is true, P or Q is true. Scale in better views. If Q is given to be true, this Compound proposition connected by disjunction must be true. Why? In case of disjunction, if one of the components is true, then the disjunction truth value is all, always true. If one of them is true, false come your up, let them truth you know. I mean, let them false you know, but disjunction is true. By the way, he ain't your very last out of this stuff in this morning. P, then conclusion, P or Q will be part of the if P is true, how do I know whether P is true, Q is true, and P and Q are already true? Because premise, 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 premise. Premise kaole, let room not yet mark in the part. Because premise are always true with the other family. So that's it. If, if the component of the disjunction, if one of the component of the disjunction is given to be true, Therefore, the disjunction is already true because valid slow and yes, So, Helena, let me Lena. Okay, the fifth one. Let me take you to the fifth rule, which is principle of detachment. Again, this one is a very uh, clear rule of detachment. Detachment. Rule of detachment. Rule of detachment. Rule of detachment says if this is given to be as a premise, P and Q, if this is given as a premise, then the components individually P and Q must be true. Indeed, if P and Q is given to be true, if P and Q is given to be true, then the individual components P as well as Q must be have to value. This is rule of detachment and very easy. The next one is modus tollendo ponens. The sixth one, modus tollendo ponens. Modus tollendo ponens. Of course, the name is something unusual, but the fact is very clear. Negation of P as a premise is true, P or Q is again true because it is premise. Now you can say about Q. 
አሁን ምን መጻፍ እንዳለበት እዚህ ጋር ልጠይቃችሁ ነው ባይ ዘ ዌይ አሁን ማስተምርበትን ዶክመንት ሰቻርስ ሼር አደረጋችኋለሁ አሁን ከ ካሜራው ጋር አት ሴም ታይም ዳለ ማስተማር ፈልጌ ነው ያጠረብኝ ይሄዳል እንደዛ ከሆነ ይያነሰ ስለምሄድ ኦኬ ናው ልጠይቃችሁ ነው ተዘጋጁ ኔጌሽን ኦፍ ፒ ኢዝ ትሩ ቢኮዝ ኢት ኢዝ ፕሪሚስ ቢኮዝ ኢት ኢዝ ፕሪሚስ ዛት ሚንስ ፒ ኢዝ ፎልስ ማለት ፒ ኢዝ ፎልስ ኔጌሽን ኦፍ ፒ ትሩ ማለት ፒ ፎልስ ነው ማለት ኦኬ ናው ፒ ኦር ኪ ኢዝ ትሩ ዋይ ኤጌን ዚስ ዋን ኢዝ ዘ ሰከንድ ፕሪሚስ ኢፍ ኢት ኢዝ ፕሪሚስ ቢንግ ትሩ ኢዝ ማንዳት ሶ ናው ፒ ፎልስ ነው ተቃላው ዲስጃንክሽኑ ትሩ እንዲሆን ኪ ምንም ሆነ ነገር false ways true false ways true negation of p true no p false ihe disjunction demo true no biyallo lenen premise no selezi ihe nyaw taqalallaw true ndihon ihe taqalallaw true ndihon ihe nyaw false ka hona ihe p false ka hona mekniyatum kezi nyaw agintana p false ka hona taqalallaw true ndihon q yallo dil tru bicha lene q tru kal wona ye false no wona false or false tru ay wona min selezi q git tru ka wona false or tru tru yona selezi ye tru mona lebet lene premise no selezi ziga matsaf yallebet q antin dalshu negation of q katsafun gin ye tru sile wona negation of tru false wona na invalid yona invalid yona invalid demo le rule of inference kul gize deduction valid mo na lebet biye negebe atwa le rule of inference selezi lezi no yarrenkush it must be q so this rule is known as modes tolendo ponens modes tolendo ponens okay the next one modes tolendo ponens yekedemu gilbat no modes tolendo ponens awunim በደም ተከታተሉ የተጠያየ ቅንካሬን ችግር ነው ሞደስ ፖሊንዶ ቶለንስ የቀድሞ ቶሌንዶ ፖሊንስ የነበረው ፖሊንዶ ቶለንስ ማድረግ ብቻ ዘ ሰበንዝ ዋን ሞደስ ፖሊንዶ ቶለንስ ይሄን ደሞ አብረን ነው አሁን ፕሪሚስዎቹን እናሳፍላችሁ negation of p or negation of q okay then p aw min mesaf alles ezi ga min no mesaf alles p is true why because it is prims this is true this is again true okay true no lemin prims no so p true means that as you know negation of p is false arellem if p is given to be true negation of p is clearly false so if negation of p is false if negation of p is false in order this disjunction is true or to make it true what must be written here q or negation of q to make is valid valid deduction in the matter it is premise and its truth value is true p again it is true why because it is premise e had this junction true and one p true now terminal negate yezi ye p negation false no matter so let's e false ka one e taqlalaw true and one what can you say about negation of q or q what must be written here to get a valid deduction that is my question negation of q negation of q you are right that one negation of q negation of q why negation of q true kar hone ye taqlalaw true aibon ma negation of q already false so this is what we call it modes for in dotolence okay let me take you to the next one constructive dialect constructive dialect constructive the a is rule constructive Okay. okay now the rule is as follows given as follows p implies q 
and R implies S. R implies S. This is one premise. And then P or R. P or R. Man, ni maslali syllogism ni maslali. Kadim sosta ni awal apa ni orang ni? Ya, no syllogism ni maslali. Awal ziga masafah udah rasa ni masafah. Nanti nanti ni kat sini. Gini, dah mahu ziga, dah mahu. Dim sun ziga. Okay. Ensi P implies Q and R implies S. This is true, given to be true. Okay. Then P na R ya tu gan na tu gan demi kau pun pedem betul betul kat sini ni. Network tu kalau korang ada apa tu, P mana? Yang jelas mana orang implication hypothesis. R mana? Yang yang boleh tanya orang implication, awal mana hypothesis? Yang the the hypothesis of the first implication and the hypothesis of the second implication are connected by this junction and given as second premise. A second premise. Aun dia alat tak kasut, ya ulat, ya ulat tu implication tu conclusion aja. Ya ulat tu implication tu conclusion aja. Ennasu Q na S na. So berorang yang je konstruktif dari mana agenya doa. Yang agak baca kalau tu berjenis negara, ni awak nanti tidak tahu. P or R, P or R hypothesis is connected by this junction and the conclusions of the two conclusions of the two implications are connected by again this junction as a conclusion as a conclusion to get valid deduction good the conjunction so this is what we call it constructive dilemma so this is what we call it constructive dilemma constructive dilemma Eh, ini master shot saya mengaz. Dan agaru master meraun slide share selam mara gatu, bawa la naik secaras. Cukai lom, awun bita patu muka share la gatu. Okay. The next one is principle of equivalence. Very easy. Principle of equivalence. Principle of equivalence. Okay. Look. P by implies Q. This is by implication. And P is another premise. Both are premises actual. P by implies Q is a premise. Uh, P by itself is premise. When I'm saying they are premise, I, I'm saying or I'm telling you that both have truth value too. By implication, truly will be true if both components are true. Or both components are false. Now, P given to be true, Malet, and the Andenya component true, no man. The other component must also have true value true. Why? Because Mika Yerukona, similar and my own component true value are true by implication true. Let me true in your fellow character, P by implies to premise code, big data to Mona. Good day. So what must be written here? Q, not negation of Q this time. Why? Q, negation of Q, Mr. Kaona, Ziga Q true mons rather, but P true slowana, by implication of true on P true kaona, Q on true mona. Q true on negation of Q must come with kaona, valid sign, invalid logical deduction will have to one. Mr. Fellatugamu, Tasmam Tana, Gamu valid deduction. Asre nyaona yele chabasha. The last one, the tens rule, which is known as principle of conditionalization. Principle of conditionalization. Principle of conditionalization. Principle of conditionalization. Let us touch on the matter too. I'm going to rule with this after the general. Look, P given to be the only premise in this case. P is the only premise in this case. Then here it is the second one. 
this is principle of conditionalization. But then build is a type and learning masala. In case of implication, the left hand side, I mean sorry, the right hand side component. If the right hand side component is true, then the implication will be true. The truth value of the implication will be true. Falsely on the right. But grab up the other corner and the zimarf. Ziga no true corner, ziga false and beyond that allowed to be one. Ziga no true beyond that allowed to be one. Which are let ten yaw yaw true or a little jig that allowed true moon fit. Slezzy, I only as a fellow in the zip. Who let ten yaw your implication, but able to yaw and then yaw cover. True Kahona, true moon the American previous Gabba Maska Mel. Slezzy, a chin or true college. Ziga is after two the more, but any bakul, the implication of any bakul corner, implication of good data. The bigger matter. And D we hold Rogan. I will not. Peter Wall, Peter Wall, Yachi Pets after two Zichigas after Zichigas to Noro, he had again valid conclusion. I will not. Lemon, Q, he to Wallo, Q, true Kawana, there get to you. Negative to Q, false Benur Besat like it, true implies false, false you are into it. So let's see, again, the zigots are called true, ziga corner again, Q, terum yon, false and yon, mirim, get that set up. Q, put a true yon, false and yon, false implies true, true no, true yon, true implies true, true, which I need not to argue to. So this is the tens root principle of conditionalization. Now, we are in a position to do different exercises, questions to determine their value, to determine their value. Now let us go to exercise. Exercise. Number one, this is conditionalization. The gamut is in the rule of Chandegmacho. Material right I didn't want to unlock. Okay, exercise. Number one, I will just have to try not to meet you to tomorrow. Using the true stable method, using the true stable method, skisa at Sintona, Sidis at Casos, the German of Castamus, Master Dekar Chalalin, using true stable method. Using true stable method, check the validity. Look, check the validity of the following assertions, of the following deductions or assertions. The deductions are actually logical deductions, following deductions. A, A, P implies negation of Q, comma, Q, negation of P. This is the first. The yet is be a commissive, yes, around, yes, around. Now we are going to check the validity using true stable, okay? Using true stable. The true stable norm in the middle of the demand the example as I did that one. The example now only for general, while as a metal, now one. Is count or another power from scout. Lemon, Salem Sarah, Catin. Okay. Using true stable method, check the validity of the following deductions. Catum can discuss the idea of Bohun, deduction of valid number. Lemon, Kalat rules the world. Kulatum, yes, a machine or lay a lot of tomorrow. Can discuss the yard with deduction of Bohun, valid not. Conclusion of true no validity, valid not to one. Why? Because they were or all their rules, rule column, they are valid deduction of I won't get the rule at the sir. We have given a logical deduction in which we don't know whether the logical deduction's conclusion is true or false. We don't. The negation of P, true to all, false to If 
negation of p after the true stable step is known to be true, then we can able to decide the deduction is valid. If it is false, it will be invalid or false. So let us start. How many proportions are already participating here? Two. So we will have four number of rows. P, Q, negation of P and the Ziga, negation of the true stable Gizze, negation can swing at the So negation of P, negation of Q, and then as you can have, okay, a T and premise P implies negation of P. A T negation of P. Later on. Aunin online la la tamaro chmas gana zibo nege premi so tu bemi le yalo kala chun de koma le ya. So lazi eska koma dres yalo and premi sna. Bo hala zigan star na le gale aunin ma regen chila le. And the other premi after koma before this symbol we have premi. These are the two premi on the second and on the fifth columns. Then we can fill the rows as well as the columns. First row, second row, I mean first column, second column, third column, fourth column, and fifth column. Now we can fill two, true, false, false, down. Fall, I mean true, false, true, false. Can the Karatuchi and Marathi? Balefo yanda bara tamar. Nazi both have a kayer minimum yamaka on a grain. Bicha ara to get beating on roller making it up. True, true, Machara Sharadu, Machu grain. False, false, Majamara. Never again. The same kind of repetition, Allah I did. Lagal. The Zamabu no road to get a kayer with that. But the rows are already fixed. These are the four options. Okay. Regarding the negation of P, we have negation of the first column. So we have false, false, true, true. Regarding the fourth column, we have negation of true, negation of false, which will be false, true, false, true. Regarding the implication, we have not P implies Q, but P implies negation of P. That means first column implies fourth column. False, because true implies false is false. Uh, then true because true implies true is true. False, an implication begins with false is all, always true. Has always true value. True. Okay. Very good. Now, what are the premises? The premises are the, the fifth column and the second column. This is the first column, which is, uh, is found in the last column. And this is the second premise which lies on the second column. Now, in which row of these two columns have the same kind of true true type? In which column? In the first, I mean, in, in which row? In the first row? No. This is true, this is false. So it, it, they have no true true type. In the second row? No. Because this one has false, of course, this one has true. In the third, yes, yes, we are going to select the third row. Why? Because the two columns, which are already considered as the premise, have the kind true true type. But we are not going to take the false again. Why? Because first premise has false and the second premise has uh, true. Of course, it has true in the second, but in the first has false. So our option is only the third. Can you see that too? So staying now, row seven. I don't think our row line number two, two type again. I will give so staying our row line again. Let's see how many we get to allow. Bandu the yeah yeah allow option. Very that yeah 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 yeah. Chilla the good data in the mirror. But your row two order man. Row two you have to select one another one. So in the third row, you are going to see the truth value. Of the conclusion. Conclusion of negation of P. Negation of P man third column. Third column, the third row la yalla windino. Third column, the select largo in. Third column, negation of P, conclusion of Lazaro. In the selected row, in the third row, has two values. Therefore, I'm going to write the conclusion. 
ስለዚህ ትሩ ስለሆነ ያገኘው ቫሊድ ይሆናል ዘ ፕሪሚሲስ ዘ ፕሪሚሲስ p implies negation of q and negation of uh, i mean q are true are true only in the third row in the third row in the third row in the third row and the conclusion the conclusion since since the, the conclusion negation of p in the third row in the third row has true value true value to therefore therefore the deduction or the argument is valid the bevelu ziga yegenyero false yonoro bagatami invalid plan neberu so the argument is valid so we have got a valid argument argument men nero ye kedim yaw definition of life selaye no argument bibalo su nunna menun yaze argument bibalo uh premise and conclusion and the idea as a set of premise uh, and the conclusion argument no our argument mind no conclusion valid so n charasen ma n charasen let me take you to second example kaza yen nyaw ti yake satan le zare na bakaler no second example ka charasachu example run b bi ye likatal andenya sir b አንደኛ ስር b b okay p implies negation of p implies negation of q p implies negation of q sorry ziga mastaka ka yasalalno p implies negation of q uh, comma this is one premise the second premise is p p the third is r implies q r implies q r implies q and the conclusion is negation of r very nice question negation of a okay ndezihu lelochu nsaf ndachu fiya one bal cherso nanfe tcherso wachu allat ezi lai c p implies q p implies q negation of a implies negation of q negation of q therefore negation of r implies negation of p negation of r implies negation of p okay d le negaru yaw yeqarrut document share sile maragachu yeqarrutin ezaw shared ko wono document magnet ichilala ahun ባይሆን ሆን ይሄኛው ጥያቄ ድስራና ከዛ ወደዚህ ልምጣ እነዚህ በሙሉ ቴብል በመጠቀም ምትሰሯቸውናል ሪዝን በመጠቀም አይደለም የሪዝኑን በኋላ ያሳያል እንግዲህ ኦኬ አ ኢኤፍ ድረስ ይከተላል ያው ቤት ገብታቹ መጣዩት ነገር ነው አሁን ወደ ሶሉሽን ወዲ ወደ ሶሉሽኑ ሲሄድ የቢ ነው ሶሉሽኑ solution for b uh, how many rows i mean the proportion three so we will have eight rows so p q r mitayachu kahona aw tayach sare p q r kaza bala yellenem so negation ch kan nessu yikadmalu 
በዚ በትሩስ ቴብል ሩል መሰረት ኔጌሽን ኦፍ ፒ አለ ኔጌሽን ኦፍ ኪው አለ ኔጌሽን ኦፍ አር ዘን ፒ ኢምፕላይስ ኪው ፒ ኢምፕላይስ ኪው ዘን ኔጌሽን ኦፍ አር ኢምፕላይስ ኔጌሽን ኦፍ ኪው ፋይናሊ ቦታ ቢጠበኝም ኔጌሽን ኦፍ አር ኢምፕላይስ ኔጌሽን ኦፍ ፒ ዚጋ ነው so these are the columns okay how many rows that we are expecting eight because the proportions are three p q and r if there are three proportions we will have uh, to the power of three, which is eight number of rows one two Three, four, five, six, seven, and lastly eight. Kataki ado ba Italia tu ni tin da madre ni ni. Kini bo ala nazi da madre gmokra. Okay. Anyways, true, 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 true. False, false, false. Okay. Finally. false ihi awun nisfaw yetaye no true then she for q true true false false true true false false then true false true false true false true false what about negation of p negation of p four falses and four trues four truths what about negation of q two falses two truths type then false false then true true okay what about negation of r false true type false true false true false true okay p plus q p plus q be false mijemru kulle true selona kasu mijemru true 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 p implies q then uh, true implies q Th these two are false because true implies false false true implies false again false and the others are true okay what about negation of r implies negation of q negation of r is this one and towards the left negation of q so from left i mean from right to left from right to left okay so it's true then false then true then true again then true again false true true okay final negation of r again negation of r implies negation of p so false false true true implies false is false uh then true then false then true because negation of r implies negation of p then true again true again true again okay if there is any mistake you will tell me in the coming week kniatum gizelenim awun saat derswal low yosef kubatim okay now please identify our premises how many premises do we have how many premises uh it inyaw ndi gaye yesara sin no ndi yesara wat eshi sin no yesara wat eshi hulatum ihe b sayon c bertan c b le masra jemre bagata mi b qalal ya le no ndo ihe nyaw masratu to selezi c sin no yesara yallo so uh how many premises two p plus q is remarked and this one should be remarked a negation of r implies negation of these two are premises okay these two are premises now please go through down where there are true true types uh, in the ca coming rows for example oy yenin min yahlochatun yetetetatalachun indore lemawark beuletu select badirrekwacho kolemoch betimochu rows 
ሁለቱ ፕሪሚሶች ትሩ ትሩ አለ ፋይ ወደም ሊና ኢን ዊች ሮ ዘ ቱ ፕሪሚስ ሃቭ ቦዝ ቱዝ ቫሉ ቱ ሮ ቱ ነጭ ባይ ነው የሚታየው ምንም ይሄ ነው የሚያሻማው ሰሌክትድ ኮለመኖች እነዚህ ናቸው ሶ ኦን ዚስ ቱ ኮለመንትስ ኢን ዊች ኦፍ ዘ ሮዝ ሮቹ ስምንት ናቸው ፈረስ ሰከንድ ሰር ብያት ስምንት ድረስ ሁለት ኢን ዊች ኦፍ ዘ ሮዝ ዚስ ቱ ማለት <laughs> this is a conclusion these are premises premises this is conclusion amun aratu rows lay bicha conclusion yallewun trus value akibullet first row lay conclusion tru allaw nanta makibu fifth row lay conclusion min allaw awun tru allaw seventh row lay conclusion min allaw tru last row lay tru allaw ayat ምንም ማለት ያቀረበትም የተከበቡ ትሩ ትሩ ብቻ ነው therefore this logical deduction is valid እንደበለው እዚሁ ላይ ቦታ ስለሌለኝ the conclusion the conclusion negation of r implies negation of p in in first in the first fives sevens and eights rows have has the conclusion this in these rows has true value true value true ziga since mechamer chilallachu since so true value true then the argument the given argument is valid the argument is valid yibqay idilen yadellem b mejemera tetsfo gin bagatami ayni ayyo si srawna sun serchallo bemikatraw gize b ind tasaru yichilalachu chigrello now hatsa minim gize biraftibin bishamma abachun satachu hulettenyawun tiyake gin salsalala ለምን ቢ ልየ ነው እሱን ሰራው ማለት ሁለተኛ ጥያቄ so question number 2 እንደዚህ ላይ using rules of inference using rules of inference using rules of inference ሲገልጻ using rules of inference using rules of inference determine the validity of this argument determine the validity of the following argument but and so yeah the determine the validity of the following argument argumentu kedim tsefenawal nanta ihen indigam ila le matsafi chin bichal ne tosto chin bichal using rules of inferences determine the validity of the following argument ilal it is said is this afternoon milo no so uh, argument form un kedma wata tenawal ehon no ene esu wedezi yalede keza wede mels no mi selezi betru ste bil alellem amun min saraw using rules of inferences no rules of inference mai tayi kewone chigir kalle gin digero አቀርበው 
determinants are for anyways. Negation of P and Q. R implies P. Negation of R implies S. The Zari match Arasham Minaro, Slezid Yet. T. Help. Lacker home is selling. Shall we take them? We tell you to the matrix. Well, okay. So I'm a table answer on machine. Using rules of inference, uh, reasoning method on the ground. Number one, premise of the two monetary supply. Negation of P and Q is true because it is reasoning method, it is premise. Okay, so number two, number two, R implies P is true. Reason. The same because it is premise in middle. Number three, the next premise, negation of R implies S is true. Premise follow through my own reason. Number four, S implies T is again true. S implies T is true by the same reason with that of the previous given reasons. Okay, in that far. So I can clean the right hand side of the whiteboard. Okay. <clears throat> now let us start. Number five. Negation of P and Q is given to be. True. By rule of adjunction, hey, that you might If conjunction is given to be true, the components are true. Me rule So negation of P is true. Q is again true. Reason by step number one. These are the steps, okay? By step. Number one, and rule of adjunction. Of course, the rule of Mercas is in your step in Slavich and Alpha, which are the rule of adjunction. So we let them through one another. We let them through Kalum Vestaka, where conjunction is a true my gets the match. Okay, number six, Kazim Terabut and Dadras, negation of P through corner P false. There's a P false in that again, Dadras. P false. Okay, now P false now. At last, now we hear R implies P true. If P is known to be false, if P is known to be false and the implication is true, R has the only chance which is false. Lemon, false implies false, but channel with the implication true no more. But channel is not true, let us your false terms let's set. Since P is known to be uh, false, R must not be true. If it is true, true implies false, will not be true. Therefore, R must be false. If R is false, negation of R is true. And then I work correctly. R false for negation by rule of negation. By step number two. By step number two. By step number two. And and by rule of implication manager, Nazan, modest tolerance, 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 modest and R for score negation of R to lower and slap. Okay, number seven. Number seven, look, negation of R implies S is already true because it is previous plan. Because it is previous. Since this one is true and negation of R is true, S false monarchy. Better be getting a traffic order, S false monarchy. Because once in 
uh, according to step number three, this implication is given to be true because of uh, because it is premise. And by step number six, the the left hand side component of the implication is known to be true. Therefore, the right hand side never be false. If it is false, true implies false will not be true. Rather, it is false. Therefore, uh, S will be S is true. So that true implies true, true implies true will be true. So S is true. So by a step number, we have used step number three. So step number three, then rule of implication, rule of implication. Rule of implication, Marek, the media tolo, modus tolens, modus ponendo tolens, minon naladena gratu begin. So let's see, part two, zigaders. Uh, now, S known to be true. S is true, minon agintana. Step number eight. Look, by step number four, by step number four, S implies T is true. And S is known to be true according to step number seven. Girziga, negation of uh, negation of R S is true, S is true, sir. Yet I can put step number six in mind. So let's step number two, which I want to step number six as Girziga. I will not say that again. So T must be true. Lemon S true corner. The class of implication true in your T false one. T false for a matu I will be in your lemon S true strong true implies true so no not true. So T is true by step number it is a natural bubble to America to leave step number four to the man on and they get out of seven to the man and they get out of rule of implication. Yeah, rule of implication. Our T true more not a gun and T man at the moment no not conclusion at the moment. So let's see. Therefore, therefore, using the above rules, our argument is the argument is valid. We can yet on that rasu t at a bar conclusion get a come get a get a come metal. Let's say it. Zige get a come metal. Last house have to na minnebere the car trip run. We will be home by sunset. T will be home by sunset. We will not be home by sunset. Be no. So that's the negation of true false or not. Valid sign of new number one. Invalid. Invalid new number one. So that's the statement two. And then the next one. That's the third one. So the argument is valid. This is all about today's class. ለዩነት መፍጠር አላማችን ነው ዓለም አቀፍ ተወዳዳሪ መሆን አለባችሁ የናሽናል ኤርዌይስ እህት ኩባንያ ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ ጥራትና ደረጃውን የተጠበቀ ስልጠና በመስጠት ብቁ ዜጋ ያፈራ ነው በፍላይት ኦፕሬሽን በበረራ መስተንግዶ በቲኬቲንግና ሪዘርቬሽን በሆቴልና ቱሪዝም ሙያዎች አስልጥነን ተወዳዳሪና አድርጎታለን ኮሌጃችን ካናዳ ከሚገኘው ኢንተርናሽናል ኤር ትራንስፖርት አሶሲዬሽን አያታና ከእንግሊዙ አይሲኤም ጋር በመተባበር ዓለም አቀፍ እውቅና ያለው ስልጠና እየሰጠ ይገኛል በፍላይት ኦፕሬሽን በበረራ መስተንግዶ የምንሰጣቸው ስልጣና ከኢትዮጵያ ሲቪል አቪዬሽን ባለስልጣን ሙሉ እና አለ አድራሻ ከጎላጉል ታወር 22 አደባባይ ወደ ሾላ በሚወስደው መንገድ ላይ የናሽናል ኤርዌይስ እድ ኩባንያ ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ ህልሞን